हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बी आई ट्रेनिंग डॉट कॉम माई नेम इज सुमित एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू हाउ टू सेट अप अ लिंक बिटवीन और अ कनेक्टिविटी बिटवीन क्लिक सेंस विद फेसबुक एंड पुल द डेटा फ्रॉम फेसबुक इन टू क्लिक सेंस यूजिंग रेस्ट कनेक्टर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ सीनारियो इज दैट इफ यू वुड लाइक टू विजुअलाइज द फेसबुक डेटा इन to click sense so for that we will be going to use the rest connector so to complete this step first of all we will need to build a new app into facebook and give permissions to that app and uh, we need to generate a security token and that security token we need to provide within the rest connector into click sense so let's start to work on this scenario so as you can see here i have successfully open this url developer.facebook.com and then i am going to add a new app so you can choose a app for ios for android for facebook canvas or for a basic setup you can go for basic setup and provide the detail to know how to set up a uh, how to create an app into facebook for this you can visit my existing video in where i have already uh, explain how to create a new app into facebook in this case i have already developed an app named as bisp app so i click on bisp app and uh, as you can see here we have got secret app version app version id app id app secret and i have already given some permissions to this so now the next thing i would be going to require the url or the security token to access this app on to click sense so for this i get back to the previous link click on tools and support and here click on graph api explorer if you want to only know the access token so we have an option here access token tool when we click on access token tool it will provide the app user token and the app token for both the apps which we have added into this developer module but i would like to get the access token along with some permissions so i click on graph api explorer once we click on this graph api explorer you can choose that you want to generate token for which app for bisp app for quick click sense so i click on bisp app the page will get refreshed and a new access token will get generate then i click on get token and get user access token so i click on get user access token and i give some users permission that what data or from uh, what data the click sense can be accessed from the facebook so i have given permissions to almost all these settings and click on get access token so definitely if you are doing it first time so it will ask you to authorization it will ask you for authorization so you need to provide your facebook credentials and user id password and once it is verified you will be able to see this access token here after that let's get back to the click sense and let's start building a new app so i create a new app and i give this app name as facebook connector click on create open app and i'm going to load the data so to connect to the data i click on add data and here i'm going to use rest so click on rest now we need url so what would be the url and from where to get the url so url would be if you see the type is get and if i expand this the url is https colon double slash graph dot facebook dot com so i provide enter the same url https colon graph dot https colon graph.facebook.com also we will be getting this me field id name but apart from this i would be getting i would like to extract more fields so i click on submit and uh, it will give me my credentials the id and the name and i'm going to add more fields like about and uh, birth date and let's say education email id 
first name, gender is there, hometown is there. I'm, I'm getting, I'm just adding all the fields which I would be requiring to be uh, get I, the the fields which I would be requiring to analyze using ClickSense. So I'm just adding all those fields, and once I'm done with that, I click on submit. So it will submit it, and it will give me all the details. So these are my personal details. So I copy this URL, the, the link following me and copy this and paste it facebook.com slash me. So that's the complete URL. Let me show this complete URL in a bigger format. That's the complete URL graph.facebook.com slash me question mark fields is equal to ID name about so it will be querying data from uh, related to these fields. Then timeout is 30, method will be get. Uh, I'm okay with the sequence ID. So it will be extracting the data in the same sequence. No need to provide username and password because we are not using Windows authentication. So I'm not going to provide any username password. Pagination type will be none. Here I need to provide the query parameter. So query parameter will be based on access token. It will be based on access token. So I provide here a double three is underscore token and the access token which we access just now I copy this and paste it here and now I give a name to this so I'll give a name Facebook database and click on next so if everything is okay it will get to the next page See here the connection has been successful and now it is it's, it's extracting the data from uh, the Facebook account. So I click on root and I would be getting the data like the fields which I would uh, which I added over the birthdays. So I will be querying data based on these fields. So I click on load data and finish because right now I have got only one record. So that's why I'm getting this record. But if you have got more users associated with your developers account, you can get a list of records here. And then you can quickly analyze the data by using ClickSense by various charts and graphs which are available into it. So that's all. As you can see here, we are getting the data from Facebook, school, route, hometown, education. So these are the data sets we have been loaded. So that's all in this video. That's how we can pull the data from Facebook into ClickSense by using REST connector. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.